From the station on your side, you're watching Wavy News 10 at 5. Now, it has been a dreary Thursday. Showers and storms have been in the region all day. But that's nothing compared to what we saw in the last hour. Sheets of rain and howling winds. Chief Meteorologist Don Slater will update our threat for severe weather in just a few minutes. But, you know, love them or hate them. Norfolk wants to know how you feel about e-scooters. As the city nears the end of year one, the one deal pilot deal with, with Lime is looking to gauge public perception and possibly make some improvements. Tend to your side, Stephanie Harris is here with more on what they're looking for. Steph? Well, quite simply, they want to know everything, everything <laughs> you think about them. I spoke with Transit Director Amy Inman, who has really worked hard to make e-scooters a success in Norfolk, and she wants to keep that momentum going. Lime scooters are just about everywhere in the Mermaid City now. With a fleet of 1,100, they're hard to miss. We've had over 600,000 miles ridden, so that's that's pretty that's pretty good, um, and we're excited about that. Now, Transit Director Amy Inman wants to hear what you think about them. It's been very well received, um, and you know, but certainly we want to make improvements, and um, it's a learning experience for us this year. The city put a survey online Monday. They want to know if you ride, where, and for how long. If not, what's your experience sharing the roads? Do you think more bike lanes would help? Should there be designated parking areas, and is it cost effective for low income riders? You know, certainly we're going to take all of that information and that will inform how we move forward. They've already received more than 500 responses since Monday. You have until February 21st to submit it. We put a link to the survey on wavy.com. I took the survey as well, and it's relatively quick and easy, but if you've never filled out a Norfolk City survey before, there are some extra steps you'll have to take. You have to sign up and then verify through your email account, but I'm told after you've done it just once, you won't have to do it ever again for future city surveys. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.